so welcome back to my channel this is Monette and today I'll be making the uh, flip through of all my journals that I've had for the last 10 years or so don't know exactly but um these first couple of books that I will be going through they're all in a chronological order I'll be not showing much of it simply because they were done between me and a good friend of mine back in high school and uh, they probably don't have much constructive uh, lessons or anything in them and um, we were quite a, uh, a silly bunch back in high school and there's just a couple of pictures and stuff as well that we drew that that won't be appropriate for now but um just to show uh, all the different books that I've um, gone through and yeah so let's get started so here's the first one, made in 2007 between a friend and mine. What we would do is I would write one day and then I'd give it to her and she would take it home and write that night and then she'd give it back to me. And so it's it's somewhat of a combined uh, journal and lots of silly writings. So we won't stay um, focused on that one too much. But that was 2007. That's 11 years ago. That is beyond crazy. Here's another one. We continue doing this all through high school. This is our little book of life too, and this uh, crossed over into 2008. Lots of silly, <laughs> silly things. So that's the second one. Then we got to a bigger book. My name is always big book of life three again. Won't spend too much time. But lots of writing, lots of fun to um, share a journal with someone. We get to, we got to know each other quite a lot better in that sense. The fourth one, and I'd like to show also how um, it started to evolve. Our our decorations on the front page started to evolve. Here we added some color, and uh, we always have a bit of writing in the front there. <laughs> Won't focus on it too much. Um, but yeah, just lots and lots and lots of writing and, and fun um, to silly girls. But two silly girls, but two girls trying to find out um, and navigate through life, especially in high school, it's always a bit difficult. And here we got to uh, a bit more um, decorating and we would write a blurb and synopsis in the back here. And uh, so yeah. Just the same. That was a uh, Ben 10 picture. I loved Ben 10 back in high school. Probably still a bit old to like Ben 10 in high school, but I did it. And um, yes, we all, we did go through the Twilight phase. And Linkin Park's my favorite band. And Sylvia absolutely loved Cricket and Paramore. And so, yeah. And then for the next book, we decided to write our favorite lyrics on it. It's so funny that um, these were my absolute favorite songs and his. And I was trying to read them and remember what they were on about. And um, I couldn't even remember the songs. And yeah, the trip down memory lane was super exciting. These things are hilarious. Where are they? Um, I would skip school a lot in high school, especially for the last... Oh, this is Sylvia's one. But yeah, um, this is a late sign in form. I'd skip classes and whatnot. I'd come in and I would always, always get it and write an explanation. But it would be the craziest explanation. Like I got abducted by um, worm eating dogs from space or something like that. And yeah, always made a good laugh. I don't know where they are. They must be somewhere. Here we got more into a bit of a scrapbooking phase. We've added some buttons, some ribbon along the sides here as well and um, yep again that blurb there and it, it's interesting because by this time we, we started um, making a lot more sense as we grew older this book must have been possibly 2010 so yeah I'm not gonna show it too much again but yeah we, we never finished this, this as this was the last book that we went through and so that was our combined journals that I didn't want to show too much, just for the, her privacy as well. And um, now it comes to my own personal journals that I have had. Um, this was 2012 to the year 2013. And again, I'll just be um, focusing probably more on the covers 
rather than going into detail of um, flipping through it just because um, it is quite personal things and I, I was still quite, I, I don't know, un, unexperienced in life and so there's just a lot of hurt, a lot of uh, trying to figure out life through this one that won't necessarily be too constructive for anyone viewing but yeah so live for the moment fight for eternity is what I wrote there love is the beauty of the soul and the beauty of life comes from experiencing it this is my my own little quotes that I that I uh, wrote with my list of pandas down the side here <laughs> And one thing I do absolutely love of my of my journals is that there I always write a little title page here and this one says welcome to my life my stupidity my reasons my hopes my dreams and denials my tears and miseries oh misunderstandings sorry my respect my sweet my searing words and my apologies welcome to my mind and the madness and the effort to keep calm and to carry on welcome to my growth so that's this one, lots of writing, not any uh, decorations within the pages there. Now this one is a bit different, it's a, a journal that, it's just a handy journal that I chucked in my bag as I went through uh, my first year of, oh actually my first two years of studying and um, yeah and we did a couple of leadership papers and lots of interesting things um, that I learned, I just uh, wrote it down. All these pink stripes are from words that I have learned along the way and I just love writing down uh, learning new words because I think it's so cool that I mean you speak a language for your entire life and there's still always new words to learn so yeah that's how those what those mean no one take too much time just to show that um, this was quite a fun book and it's still a fun book to look through or journal to look through so yes that is um, this book this is just a book I carried around knowledge create utilize develop pray be humble um, yeah and it looks pretty pretty well used which is great because there's some awesome little snippets of wisdom in this book and I'll always go back to it from uh, things that I've learned I also started becoming a bit more organized in my decorating again this book um, doesn't have any uh, any uh, decorating in it you can also see how I started getting closer to God clear your conscience and create your future and love life forgive and free so yeah moving on to 2014 and 2015 Got a bit of a travel stamps, uh, pictures along the sides there, cut out some leaf decorations there and there. And, oh my goodness, we need to go back and, um, and read the welcome page. Welcome to the inside of my mind where zombies frequently attack. Uh, I absolutely love The Walking Dead and um, imagining zombie apocalypse and what I'd do and stuff. It's, it's just a bit of a weird thing about me. So where zombies frequently attack, where life tries to sort itself out. My name is Manit and my thoughts are sweet, dangerous, sometimes a bit suicidal, but mostly bright and educational. Welcome to the boom box of glitter and mud inside my head. Welcome to my growth. And that's this one from 2013. 2014 to 2015. Keep the Lord at the center of it all. No time is ever perfect. Keep in the now. And again, not anything too exciting to write home about. And for this one, I actually did not write a little welcoming page, but that's fine. Just to show you a little bit of how I decorated it. And this one is a second one of this one. And I decided, even though I wasn't in uni, I was still wanting to uh, write down uh, like bullet points of uh, um, learning, things that I've learned and so forth. It says, knowledge and faith, understanding the world, theology, the human need, love and social structures. As I thought, um, this is basically what makes up the world. And um, I really wanted to 
uh, yeah, keep keep track of my process of me learning things, which is always a lot of fun. So rather than being an actual journal, it's more like a yeah, a little bullet point journal of learning um, lessons here and there. And then I have these three journals. These journals are more of my spiritual journey journals. It's it's a journal I took into to church services and where I write down notes from uh, sermons and so on and so yeah not much again to see see here whoopsie so funny I did go through a stage of I'm not sure if I went past it now oh here I went through a stage of uh, drawing a, a lot of circles probably in um, Bible class or something when I was getting a bit bored um, someone once told me that only crazy people repeatedly draw patterns like this and I don't know maybe I went through a bit of a mental stage there <laughs> but yeah just again little uh, lessons I've learned from sermons and it's also a book I won't ever chuck away because it is a uh, um, got some really good stuff in there the same as this one this one became more of a, a writing a journal as time went on and um, yeah so that's my other uh, spiritual journal that became my everyday journal and then this is a very special uh, book that is called the de Klerk's testimony book all our miracles and testimonies of our faith in Christ Jesus and I thought this would just be like a really cool book to have to make like certainly to pass down to our children to show our miracles and super crazy awesome things that God has done for us in our journey together things like lies friends and two bags of clothing just talks about certain uh, miracles and like crazy things in our faith that happen. The salon cleaner, 5th of July 2017. God colors our prophecy in golden glow, or in a golden glow, rather. Next one. Not much, because not like crazy amazing things it doesn't happen every day but if it does it's so good to just write it down to um, look back to it when especially when you're feeling rather low in your faith or um, weak it's just really great reminders of the greatness and the hugeness and the most oh, and the power of God and what he can do in our lives heaven and a copper bangle interesting titles for what is written about Instagram and the Camino Trail uh, $20 yeah and um this book will hopefully be filled with amazing things the only other one I have is just our travel journal that I have had or that I've made a video about before so go check that out it's on my channel olives and oranges and um and then we just came back to this journal I started last year and is still filled with exciting things and whatnot. I think the biggest thing that I've realized in all of these books and all the journey I've taken where I've recorded a lot of my life is that all of these older books I'm not entirely uh, happy sharing with people but uh, now I feel like I'm writing in such an objective view that I do or I am quite happy to share with people what exactly as I write and yes there will always be little bits here and there but I'm glad that I've come to a point where um, my personal journal and my personal journey is um, is able to be shown and shared with other people so I can help wherever I can if my uh, own personal journey can help others so yeah, that's that's me for today. Next video will quite possibly be another less journal lesson from my most recent journal. Um, 
and yeah I'm very excited to share that with you guys and hopefully it can help someone along the way but uh, that will probably be in a, the next week or so until then and happy journaling bye bye